considering a new website? The process can seem daunting. If you've gone through the process before in the past, it may have gone something like this. First, you decide you need a new site. Then you write a check to a web design firm and they spend three months building, a, building it. You launch it and cross your fingers hoping to not have to go through that process again for a while. But web technology moves fast and people's expectations about the internet move even faster. So it's time for a new approach. First, build small, then measure, and plan for phases. So this first, steps, this first step is measuring your existing site's performance. You can measure the performance of your site in many different ways. For some, it may be the number of leads generated. For others, it could be products sold, videos watched, or donations collected. Some of these on-site metrics can be easily collected with a tool like Google Analytics on your existing site. If you integrate your site with a CRM like Salesforce, you may be able to track the site's performance in there as well. However you do it, the key is to develop a baseline so that you can measure the improvement from day one. Once you've started thinking about your site's existing performance, then you can turn your attention to the new site. Create two lists. The first is a list of the functions or features that your new site must have. The second is a list of wants or things you'd like for your site to be able to do. Feel free to dream in this stage. These ideas are going to give you direction as the site expands. So let's start small. Start with a launch site. You can expand it in phases as I mentioned. A traditional site build process is founded on a series of assumptions. All right, these assumptions can be risky. Let's remove that risk by building in small increments and then testing as we go. That keeps you from spending time and money working on something that misses the mark. Remember that list you made earlier? Well, we're going to focus on the items that must be included in your new website. These get built into this launch site, which can be developed quickly. You can roll this site out and start measuring its performance much sooner. We can then start mapping out a phased approach for additional features. These phased releases are great because they are kind of a built-in allowance for learning, improvement, and iteration. After six months of tracking data and performance, you'll have a much better idea of how you want to improve your website than relying on those assumptions you had at the beginning of the project. This phased approach also allows you to start sooner, design smarter, and rest assured knowing you're building a website that is performing well because you have the data to back it up. If you've been putting off a website, there is a better way. A phased approach can be a great option for creating and maintaining a high-performance site for your organization.